on Daybreak, the inside story of the treasures in and around Indianapolis. All this week, News 8's Hannah Mordeaux is our tour guide of sorts. So Hannah, where are you taking us first? Well, the first stop is at the Scottish Rite Cathedral, but not just inside the huge, beautiful building. We went all the way to the top to see and hear something special. get to enjoy the sounds of the Carolyn Bell Tower from far below the Scottish Rite Cathedral. But one man gets the bird's eye view every day. So not everybody gets to experience something like this. So I'm just the luckiest guy on earth. Dale Wheatley is a third generation Freemason and the facility manager here. Definitely the most beautiful building in the world. And it is basically world famous. The building is an entity of Freemasonry, and Dale took us on the special journey up. Several floors and hallways to pass through, a stairwell, a telephone booth, elevator. And now we go into the phone booth. Claustrophobia, it's not allowed. Then up, up we go into a room with the bell apparatus. And one more spiral staircase to the top, all worth it for this. This is one of the many treasures that most people don't get to see. 54 bells in total, weighing 57,000 pounds. I mean, I mean, this is, this is huge. Yep, 11,200 pounds. This is the G bell. It's seven feet in diameter. Uh, all of our bells here are dead hung, so they don't swing. The bells cost $26,000 to make back in 1928. These were actually cast in, in England, along with the, uh, the I-beam framework and all that that they hang from. And then they were shipped here to Indianapolis, um, and then by rail, and then put into place by a, a crane. It, it's special because you could actually see most of the city from up here. It's all controlled from below. The apparatus downstairs, they hit the strike, it pulls the cable, which pulls the clapper, which rings the bell. And that's the largest bell that I just rang. Dale says not many people know how to play the bells anymore, not even him. Much like an organ, though. These would like be your white keys, these would be your black keys, and then your feet pedals. So, I tried it out. And while I'm clearly not good at playing the bells downstairs, Dale says there is a cheat. You can play the G bell up here. There's also new technology. Now it's all a bit more automated. This is the electronic device that takes care of the Westminster chime. This is what will ring the bells quarter after, half hour, quarter till. And then, of course, you know, you get the whole works at the top of the hour leaving us all with the gift of song in the city. And the bells and the framework they sit on do need some attention. The Scottish Rite has a fund where people can donate to help them stay maintained. Tomorrow, we're touring Monument Circle, so stay tuned. Kylie? Awesome. I love it, Hannah. So cool. Thank you.